fatty liver, there's an epidemic of fatty liver that's driving the vascular process is coming from your gut. So we got to take care of our gastrointestinal lining and the kind of bacteria we have in our intestinal tract. So there you go. So we have some grapes over here. Grapes should be consumed with the skin and you can have five, six, seven grapes, but not a whole bowl of grapes because there's a lot of sugar in it. Now, the sugar that's found in fruit is called fructose. Sugar, table sugar, is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. The glucose is metabolized all over your body, like I've talked about previously. The fructose is only metabolized by one organ, well, predominant, 99%, one organ, and that's your liver. So when you drink juices, when you eat too much fruit, you're overwhelming your liver. And one of the biggest problems we have is fatty liver. Fatty liver, there's an epidemic of fatty liver. Why? Because the fructose gets converted to fat in your liver. Now you get fatty liver, you're gonna be prone to diabetes, inflammation, high blood pressure, uric acid levels go up, joint problems, all sorts of issues. Stay away from excessive fructose. Fructose should be consumed in a normal way with fruit, seasonal, pretty much around fall, so that, that you store fat that you can use in winter. But we eat fruit throughout the year. Winter never comes, so we just gain weight throughout the year. So nature built it into us. When I went to Alaska, the bears were eating a lot of berries right at the fall, and the berries come out at that time because they have massive amounts of fructose in them, and the fructose changes the metabolism of the bear, and the bear then puts on all that weight. See, nature's teaching us all this. So why are we consuming so much fructose? Today's children, excessive fructose, far too much fructose. And it's one of the leading causes of childhood obesity as well. It starts right here in the kitchen.